Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be setting up our horizontal planners for the next week in December, Christmas week. And I've got some washi tape here ready to go, as well as these pens I may use and these sticker books which I'll pull from. So this is the fourth week of the December Planable Challenge, and this week's theme is Very Merry. So if you'd like to participate, go ahead and post your spreads up on Instagram using the hashtag PlanableDecember2021. We'd love to see what you come up with. Okay, so let's jump in. I have a sort of idea of what I want to do this week, which is always good. <laughs> When I go in without a plan, sometimes it does not go as well as I hope. Although this does take me a little while to kind of figure out. But I've been saving these farmhouse branches for oh, a while now. I really love the styling of these watercolor branch leaves and just the color is just perfect. And they're like my favorite stickers of all time and I have not wanted to use them. But I decided that you know, it's Christmas week, special occasion, let's just do it. <laughs> let's go ahead and bust them out for this. And of course, I thought a wreath would be a great way to showcase these guys on the spread. I've got my farmhouse sticker book, which I've used a lot of the leaves in there as well, but I have a whole sheet of paper ones that I think I'm just gonna save and only work with the clear stickers. So I have the clear stickers from the, I think, layered floral sticker book. And then I also have Amber Planter Day's winter collection, which I thought would be a great way to kind of bring in some red floral elements here to the spread. She has a whole bunch of these poinsettias or poinsettias or however you say it, <laughs> of these beautiful flowers that I think will work perfectly for this Christmas week theme. So I'm bringing those guys in here and just trying to find a nice balance as well as forming out the circle shape. A little bit tricky with these branches. The branches are very curved already and so they're kind of predefining the curvature of the wreath, which I don't want because they're curving a little bit too narrow or you know to inward and so I'm gonna have to use some of the other leaves to kind of push them back out or fill them out so that they at least can get a little bit more rounded look going with those. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some leaves and put those in where they fit. Again just trying to stretch out the curvature that already exists. And the beauty about clear stickers is that you can really layer them, so it makes a big difference when you're trying to design something with multiple stickers like this versus paper stickers where you're always kind of fighting that edge of white that's around the paper stickers. So I really like clear stickers for making unique decor. I've decided to bring in a few more of the red florals. I wasn't going to at first, but it just felt like I needed something to fill some of the gaps that I was seeing in the branches and to help again soften that circular shape. And I've run out of the florals that just have green leaves attached to them. So I'm gonna cut this guy out and use it just with the red, cutting out the blue tones that were in some of the leaves connected to it. I'm 
trying to be careful not to layer these florals on top of each other because I don't want you to see that they are see-through or transparent. I want them to just look like they were part of one big sticker. So I'm just trying to match them up the best I can so that they look side by side. And I'm pulling in some of these smaller leaves, fill in again the gaps. Some areas that just aren't working are down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to cut this guy off, maybe reform him and put him somewhere else. Not fitting too well anywhere in particular, but we'll see. This is the part that really takes the longest is me just trying to get that nice circular shape going with these leaves. And I was thinking maybe another floral element there, but I don't know. And again, not finding a good happy home for this guy. Originally, I wasn't going to use these branches, but I decided that I would put them in for some texture to the spread. And I really like how it kind of helped beef up the shape and gave a little bit of interest to the wreath. I'm going to cut these guys down a little bit in certain areas so that I can make them one, go farther on the spread and two, just kind of fit a little better in some of the areas I want to put them. Still trying to fit in a few of these extra stickers with the smaller leaves. Also trying to round out the wreath a little bit here at the bottom. Just feels a little bit flat. That's better. Same with this side, I feel like it needs a little bit more push towards the outside a little. So we're gonna to try to do that, maybe adjust some other things or fill in next to it. And that works. Again, just kind of need to round this out a little bit. And I'm liking that better. I'm going to go ahead and also put in a new leaf here next to this guy to kind of fill up the void. It felt like it was a little bit sparse right there. And again, I think that's an improvement. I have a few extra branches here that I don't know how to incorporate, so maybe I'll put them on the spread a little later. I've also thought that I was going to put in some red foil leaves here from the seasonal floral sticker book, but in the end I felt like it was just going to clutter things up a bit because of the outlined styling of the leaves. I think it would just create a little bit more of a messy look. So I'm going to forego that, maybe leave it as is. Let's see how I want to incorporate the washi tape I pulled. I got this gorgeous green glitter washi that is a perfect match for the leaves and you know just those holiday feels. Not sure exactly where I want it on the spread though. Lots of good options, maybe around the top and bottom with this other red foiled washi that I have from the Superheroes pack I got a while back as well. 
and kind of seeing is there anything else I want to add in from the books that I have. Decided to look through my other books just to see if there's anything I missed that might be helpful, especially like a big quote or something. Be really nice. So far that Mary and Bright is catching my eye there and that one is from the winter sticker book from last year. I looked through the Christmas Joy sticker book, didn't see anything that I thought was a good match. And I'm looking through my best year ever sticker book as well. I think the colors and the kind of classic feels go well with this, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not. I think these quote headers would be a nice way to add a little bit more red around the spread. So I think I'll pull a couple of those in. Maybe some boxes, but I don't think that one works as well. And I really think this would be awesome just centered up here on the wreath, but of course that would be right on the spine. So let's see what else we can do by cutting this guy up and maybe putting it in between some of the lines, just reworking it a bit. And I think that works. And the ampersand will definitely be cut in half, but I think that that's going to be a minimal feature anyway. So I'm liking that. And just trying some of my other washies, see if any of those are making me happy on the spread. Honestly, I think simpler is a little bit better there with the green glitter washi. Definitely feel like this is a spread to use it, so maybe I'll put it on both sides and just call it a day. And I had pulled those pens to maybe add some berries or some other texture around. I think I'm just going to cut out these ones from the silver leaves in the older winter sticker book I mentioned, and bring those in for a little bit of extra texture in red. So I'm just gonna cut those out individually off of the silver branches. I like the silver branches, but silver is just not a great color for me on spreads. I find it very hard to see when I'm looking at my planner, so it just doesn't bring me the same type of joy as a normal color would. So I'm just going to cut these guys out and use the dots. Maybe I'll find a way to use the silver branches in another spread, maybe a blackout spread at some point, but for now, just stick with the dots that are supposed to be little berries. I thought that would be a nice little additional texture element here to the wreath. And I'm just cutting them out really easily there, right on the sticker sheet using my precision cutter. One of my favorite things. I think we're good there. And we should go ahead and move things over now. 
had enough, I think, to fill out the whole spread. So I've moved some of the stickers off because I am going to try my roll off technique using the wax paper. That way it should save me from having to do too much manipulation and resetting of the stickers. It's a little bit hard to do with this shape because there's a big hole in the center and then it kind of follows a path that is symmetrical in a way on both sides but you know can get caught up pretty easily. So it does take me a minute to get this off cleanly and without causing any issues. And I decided that I'm going to move off the quote sticker and place that by hand just to make sure it's nice and centered exactly where I want that. So yeah, so this is where the things kind of got tricky with that big hole in the center between them. Maybe if I had cut it in half first and then moved over each half individually. I think it might have been a little bit smoother. If you're thinking of doing the same kind of thing, that might be something to try where you cut the wreath in half first and then move it over side by side. And this guy got a little bit caught up, so I just need to fix him so that I could keep going. And I'm just going to work it from the other side towards that piece, that separation that I just created. Again, it's a little bit tricky, but I think that turned out pretty good for not having to reset the entire thing. Took a little bit, probably like two or three minutes, but I got it off and it looks great. And now I'm just going to reset this guy. Put Mary in first, but I think I want to white out behind a little bit wherever the darker lines are. The lighter lines aren't as distracting, but those darker lines I really notice. So I'm just gonna do that for both. And I really like that. Still gives me room in the center if I wanna do some focus areas within the wreath. And now I'm going to go ahead and separate out the pages and I'm going to use my precision cutter again. I'm also going to try to clean out the holes as I go so that I can get it back into my planner. A lot of the holes were only a little bit covered with plastic from the clear stickers. For the most part, I could get it done with scissors, but a few of them I needed to trace that outline of the hole a bit more. And next we're going to move in the washi tape. And I'm just going to do a simple border, like I said, here on the sides with this really adorable glitter washi. And I'll link everything I can find down below. I'll even include the name of it, even if I don't have an active link. So you can go on the hunt if you really want some product that you're seeing here on the spread. And just moving over those red headers now.
Finally, I'm going to put in some clean dot bullets using my Tombow brush pen. And that'll do it, friends. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.